the ultimate rest. We started the quarter looking at the big picture where the unrest started and where it's rooted. This last lesson looks at the big picture where it all ends. Remember guys the story at the beginning of this quarterly of the airplane going through a storm. The passengers inside shaken and scared and a little girl sitting down and drawing quietly in her seat buckled down. My dad is the pilot, she said, and I know he's taking me home. <laughs> Our whole lesson until now has been about us learning that God is our pilot. We can trust him to navigate our plane in sunny sky, but also in stormy turbulences. However, how long can we live a life with this kind of stress and unrest if we don't know that there is a final destination, a, an airport, a landing down, a home where we are heading to? We're talking about getting home today. Our ultimate rest will be found when we get or when we land on the solid ground, the new heaven and the new earth. It's the place where we expect life to be full and abundant, as Jesus promised. From one side, we all think that we would love to know how the markets will go, what will happen tomorrow, etc. This will give us an advantage. But I'm certain that this will bring more unrest than peace. Real rest is in faith and trust that God has things under control. I don't need to know exactly what will happen at every step, but I know the destination and I trust the guide. He needs us to trust him and to become instruments and witnesses for him. What God has revealed us through the Bible is that he, has, he is coming back for us. There will be unrest, there will be death, there will be struggle caused by sin. But he has conquered it and he is working hard to offer a chance for more people to pick a side. It's a privilege and a great joy to share his good news with our world. Many of us will die before the time of his return, but that is just a sleep. There are no circles of hell and things like that. It's a blink of an eye until the morning of his return and our resurrection. Again, I would say that the whole topic of unrest and instability in our life brought us to the understanding that there is a bigger cosmic conflict in which we are participants, wanted or not. There is powers of corruption, of sin and destruction that shake this world all the time. It is not the news that we want to hear, but there is also good news in there because God has a way out of it. He earned the right to send his son a second time and to transform our earth. Rest as we know it now in partiality will fully fill the new life. So if you have tasted the bits and pieces of rest here and now, you can hope for this fullness of life when Jesus comes and when sin is done with. This hope and assurance through experience of rest now is what gives us confidence in the future. Despite the losses of dear people close to us, despite the devastating events that are in our, in our lives. The ultimate rest, I would say, is possibly only in the ultimate presence of our God, and I'm honestly looking forward to be there. Next week, we will start a new study themed Present Truth in Deuteronomy, and we'll see you then.